if you move all of them, all the bonds, mm -hmm. it will have four things attached to it. So then. Well, let's say I, didn't, I don't know if I quite followed that. It can't have. I don't think you can have. Well, yeah. If you if you move this like this, and then, then it's going to have four bonds. One over there, because you have two double bonds coming off of it. Yeah, like this. Like that. that would actually give it five bonds, I think. So that would not be allowed. There would be two bonds on the left, two bonds on the right, and the hydrogen. So this wouldn't yeah, quite be allowed. But in any case. Is the reason why it's not acidic is because when you were, if you were to do a different resonance structure of it, it would take away the aromaticity? Not acidic. Now, the thing that we were trying to explain is why it's not basic, because we usually I mean. expect nitrogens to be basic. That's, that's right. Mean. Yeah, let's actually think about that in those terms as well. Now, that's going to so be So one reason could be that it would have a positive charge. There, yeah, there is a resonance structure where this has a positive charge. Yeah. That's right. And that by itself is enough to explain why this is not basic. Let, let's see what we'll need for histidine. So. Okay, well, so one, one important way to explain this here is what's the hybridization of this nitrogen? Oh, this might be tough if you guys haven't seen my video series on aromaticity. I don't know if you guys ever had a chance to look at this. Normally, we would think of this as sp3, but this is sp2 because it's connected to sp2 carbons. Uh, I don't, well, that's a, an exception to the normal hybridization rules. Maybe we don't have too much time to talk about that today. But normally, we would expect this to be sp3, right? Mm -hmm. But if something has lone pairs and it's connected to an sp2 carbon, then it's also sp2. That's an exception to the normal hybridization rules. So this nitrogen is actually back, sp2. Yeah. That's right. Now, do you remember if something is sp2, what that really means is it has three sp2 orbitals and one p orbital. If something is sp2, it has three sp2 orbitals and one p orbital. So where, where is it going to put the lone pair? What type of orbital would it put the lone pair? In? A p orbital. Okay, now by the way, would we consider this whole thing here to be aromatic? How many pi electrons do we have here? Ten. Ten pi electrons overall? Wait, can't you, can you not look at it um, singly without looking at the... I think, uh, in this case, I think it's more common to look at both rings together, but it turns out we'll get the same answer if we look at this singly. So it turns out not to matter. Because how many do you need to be aromatic? You need two, or six, or ten, or fourteen. So it doesn't matter if we just look at this ring by itself or the two rings together. If you look at the left-hand ring by itself, it's got the six electrons. And if you look at the two rings together, it's got the ten. Either way, this would be aromatic. Now, the important thing is, how do we know these are pi electrons? Because they're in a p orbital. Remember that pi electrons are the electrons in the overlapping p orbitals. The pi electrons are the electrons in the overlapping p orbitals. This isn't a p orbital, so it's pi electrons. Now, this gives us another way to explain why the nitrogen doesn't want to give up its lone pair. The nitrogen doesn't want to give up its lone pair as a base because that would disrupt the aromaticity. So that's another explanation for why this nitrogen is not basic when amines are normally basic. This nitrogen is not basic even though amines are normally basic because that would disrupt the, disrupt the aromaticity. The most important point here is if a lone pair is participating in, a, in, the, in the pi overlap for aromaticity, it's not available to be used as a base. If a lone pair is participating in aromaticity, it's not available to be donated as in, the, in the base reaction. We'll need that for histidine in a second. And therefore, as a result, this is neither an acidic nor a basic side chain. We already knew that from the dash. This is not a basic side chain, even though it's got a nitrogen with a lone pair, because the, the lone pair is tied up in the aromatic overlap. Actually, if we see nitrogen, we can assume. Like, how do we know when we... Okay, yeah. So again, this gives us the general rule. You can't assume that all nitrogens are basic. We've already seen that amide nitrogens are not basic, and here's another type of nitrogen that's not basic. In terms of even distinguishing if we're dealing with basic substrates or acidic, mm -hmm. should we just look at if there's C's attached, opposed to even, like, that If all you way? have to do is just know whether it's acidic or basic, you can just look for the C. That's right. If he asks you to explain why it's acidic or basic, then you need to have some deeper knowledge. But if you just need to know whether it's what acidic or basic... What if he gives you something and he doesn't give you a C or whatever, and he says, is this acidic? Or basic, should we mm -hmm. just use our reasoning of, oh, well, it's nitrogen, it has lone pairs, and then mm -hmm. deal with resonance, but like... That's right. Okay, so that's right. we'd be dealing with something basic. 
Okay. That's right. Well, there's many different factors that can make something into an acid or a base. So you have to draw on your wealth of knowledge from the, cement, from the two semesters of organic chemistry to decide whether that is an acid or a base. But one of the big factors, again, is looking for resonance structures that would well, put a negative or a positive, positive charge on it. Okay. That's all I really have to say about tryptophan. Is that okay? Thanks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now let's look at histidine. That's one that definitely can give people some trouble. Here's our side chain for histidine. All right. Now, now, of course, your picture might look different than mine because you might yeah. have the hydrogens on the left or the right. There's a, a, more than one legal way to draw this. Make sure to notice that the beta carbon is not in the ring. The beta carbon comes before the ring. The ring should not be directly attached to the alpha carbon here. There is an intermediate carbon. Now, looking at our side chain column here, do we expect this, the side chain here to be acidic or basic? Or, or neutral. Basic. basic, because there's a number with a little c. So we expect this to be basic. And as you guys were hinting, it's important to know which of these nitrogens is the basic nitrogen. And to be explain, able to explain why that is, uh, maybe you've already learned this, but let's go through this together. Now, this is an sp2 nitrogen. That just follows from our normal rules, I think, of hybridization. By the way, this nitrogen has a lone pair. And this nitrogen also has a lone pair. This nitrogen is also sp2. That wouldn't normally follow from the rules from hybridization, but there's that exception I was alluding to. If you have a lone pair and you're connected to something that's sp2, you're also sp2. So this nitrogen would also be sp2. Now remember, how many p orbitals does an sp2 atom have? Only one p orbital. An sp2 hybridized atom has one p orbital. What is this nitrogen going to do with its p orbital? It's going to unite with the electron pair. The lone pair. So these will be in the p orbital. So are, can these count as pi electrons? Yes, because they're in a p orbital. Now, what is this nitrogen going to do with its p orbital? Um, it's using the double bond electron in its p orbital. But this nitrogen has to use its p orbital for this pi bond. As you were saying, what you were saying was right. This nitrogen has to use its p orbital for the pi bond. We know that pi bonds are made out of p orbitals. So this nitrogen must be using its p orbital for the pi bond. Therefore, what type of orbital is the, no is the lone pair in? sp2. Because that's all that's left. An sp2 hybridized atom only has one p orbital. So if it's already used its p orbital for the pi bond, the lone pair here must be in an sp2 orbital. Mm -hmm. So can this lone pair count as pi electrons? No, because pi electrons can only be in overlapping p orbitals. Nothing that's not in a p orbital can be a pi electron. How many pi electrons are there then in this molecule? Six pi electrons, one, two, three, four in the pi bonds. Then this lone pair counts as pi electrons, but this lone pair does not count as pi electrons. So is this aromatic? Aromatic. Now, one of these lone pairs is yeah, not a bit. Sorry, which one doesn't count? The, the N with, with the double bond, these lone pairs don't count as aromatic, right? They don't count as pi electrons. Don't count. Why not? Because there's already those being there in that double bond. Why don't these count as pi electrons? Because they're in an sp2 orbital. Okay. The pi electrons are the electrons in the side to side overlapping p orbitals. Pi electrons are electrons in side-to-side -side overlapping p orbitals. These electrons are in a p orbital, so they can be pi electrons. 
these electrons are in an sp2 orbital, so they can't be pi electrons. Why can't this nitrogen put, use a p orbital for these, this, this pair of electrons? Because it's already used it up for the pi bond. Because there are six pi electrons, so it's aromatic. Right. Then... Now, one of these pairs of electrons is not available to react as a base because it's tied up in the aromaticity. And one of the lone pairs is available to act like a base because it's not tied up. Yeah, these electrons are not participating in the aromaticity, so to speak. They're not part of the pi system, so these are the electrons that can be donated as a base. Why would it be catastrophic for this nitrogen to donate these, this pair? If the nitrogen donated this pair, they would cease to be pi electrons, and then there would only be four pi electrons, which would put us in the, well, no, I'm getting uh, carried away. But anyway, we would lose the aromaticity. We would lose the aromaticity because that would remove these from the pi structure. We don't want to donate these electrons because that would remove them from the pi structure. But these, this lone pair isn't doing anything useful. This lone pair is not doing anything useful. It's not part of the aromatic structure. So these can be donated as pi electrons. Um, I'm sorry, they can be donated as basic electrons. Yeah. 